Hi everyone, welcome back this week. Now, a few days ago, a very prominent researcher on global health, Dr. Christopher Murray, has published a comment article in the journal Lancet, and made some prediction of how the pandemic would end, based on models developed by the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. In short, the article provided a few affirmative arguments explaining why the pandemic would end quite soon, and also provided some insight on mask and booster policy and their impact on public health. Now, let's first have a digest of this article, and I'll also provide some of my interpretation toward the end of this video. Argument one: A lot more asymptomatic Omicron cases than we have seen. The IHME model predicts that more than 50% of the world will have been infected with Omicron between the end of November 2021 and the end of March. Now, this is because the reported COVID-19 cases due to Omicron surge are six times lower than the model has suggested. While the amount of asymptomatic or mild cases has increased, the global infection detection rate has dropped from 20% to 5%. Now, previous studies suggest that. Older variants caused about 40% of asymptomatic COVID cases, and as much as 80 to 90% of Omicron cases could be asymptomatic. Argument two: A huge drop in hospitalization and death directly resulted from COVID-19. Now, in the week of January 10, 2022, data from the Washington Medical Center in Seattle showed a five times increase in asymptomatic COVID-19 patient in hospital admission. Now, at the same time, in most states, hospitalization due to COVID has dropped. By 50 percent compared to previous peaks. Now, in Canada and in South Africa, we see an 80 to 90 percent decrease in intubation or death among hospitalized COVID patients. Now, if a hospital screens every admission for COVID-19, the number of patients in hospital with COVID-19 but not due to COVID-19 will substantially increase. Argument number three: Mask and boosters are not likely to make much impact on public health. The model suggests that because the Omicron transmission level is so high, receiving the primary series or the booster in the next few weeks will have a very limited impact on the Omicron wave. Because, firstly, the full effect of the primary series usually takes about two weeks to kick in, and currently there is no consensus on how soon the full third dose effect would start. And by that time, the Omicron wave will be largely over. The model also suggests masking 80% of the population will only reduce cumulative infections by 10% in the next four months. Now, the UK government is embracing this idea very quickly and is ending mandatory face coverings in public places and COVID passport in the coming Thursday. But we do need to pay attention that the UK has a slightly higher fully vaccinated population compared to the US, which is about eight percent based on the latest data from our World in Data. Now, but what shocks me most is that the UK government has managed or is managing the Omicron wave without giving a single COVID vaccine to children eleven and under. So perhaps. It may be time for the U.S. CDC to rethink the need to give three shots to every child from five to eleven years old. Dr. Murray also mentioned increased COVID testing with asymptomatic cases is likely to increase disruption by having more people needed to be isolated, and this isolation of asymptomatic cases and testing is not likely to impact the course of the Omicron wave. Argument four: The world will see low levels of virus transmission for a while. The model predicts by March 2022, a large percentage of the world population will have been infected with the Omicron variant. Now, this implies that a lot of people will have natural or vaccine or combination of the both 
of immunity to COVID-19 by the end of March, and this would be at an all-time high. Argument 5. Omicron is not the last variant. Dr. Murray used very certain words in the article, saying new SARS-CoV-2 variants will surely emerge. Now, while he and the models predict the pandemic will end fairly soon, COVID-19 infection will not disappear because both natural and vaccine immunity will wane, and COVID-19 will become a seasonal disease that will predominantly happen in the winter months. And he concluded the article that COVID-19 will return, but the pandemic will not. Now here is my first interpretation. If Omicron is not the last variant, then the effort of developing an Omicron-specific vaccine is not likely to be very useful. Now Moderna mentioned Omicron-specific data could be available by March, but based on Dr. Murray's prediction, the Omicron wave will likely be ending in most parts of the world in two months or so, and Omicron booster may do very little good to protect against the next variant. Here is my second interpretation. Now, while the booster and mask may not be making any meaningful impact at the public health level, there are still values at the individual level, in particular for elderly, immunocompromised patients, and people with other chronic diseases. One of the latest articles in The Lancet confirmed that booster dose elicits the body to produce neutralizing antibodies against the Omicron. But the benefit of any additional dose of the same vaccine is debatable. Now, two different studies from Israel basically tell the opposite story. One said the fourth dose is ineffective, and the other one said it reduces Omicron cases by half. My third interpretation is that relaxing COVID-19 restriction can be done when the adult population has sufficient immunity. The UK has shown the world, and particularly to the US, that we don't need to vaccinate every young child to protect the society, and it should be the other way around. According to some British researchers, even though the Omicron has caused more hospitalizations of young children in the UK. The cases are still mild. And here in the US, we have a vaccine available for 5 to 11 years old for preventing COVID-19. And I'm going to say this. Parents should make their own decisions and consult with their pediatricians before vaccinating their children against COVID-19. And this decision should not be made by the state or the school districts. Now, all right, I think Dr. Murray made some pretty bold prediction, but it is not without evidence. Now, let's hope the pandemic will unfold and end as he said in the article. And meanwhile, please stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.